mentioned earlier, many people are recovering this morning at Norfolk Centera General Hospital who were injured in the mass shooting in Chesapeake. That is the area's only uh, level one trauma centers. That's generally, if possible, where gunshot victims are taken. We have reporter Danielle Seda, who's been stationed outside the emergency department there at uh, Centera Norfolk General, where the hospital confirms overnight that at least five people are being treated there. What are you learning this morning? Hey, Blaine and Jessica. Well, I've been here since the early hours in the morning and throughout the night you've been seeing people come in, come out, some people frantically looking for the entrance to the hospital. There is this one man who you could hear screaming inside the hospital behind me and then coming out wailing, talking about how he had lost his loved one. So a lot of emotion here for sure. But when I first got here, I spoke with a family whose loved one had been shot inside the Walmart after showing up for his shift at night. Deborah Hazlett says her brother Michael had worked at the Walmart for years, and this has been the first incident of its kind. Michael showed up for work at 10 at night, and during that time, his family said they were finishing up preparing an early Thanksgiving celebration for today since Michael had to work on Black Friday. But unfortunately, the family's plans have now changed as Michael is being treated for gunshot wounds. His sister says it's just all so hard to process. I couldn't believe it. We, we, I think we all did the same thing. We were like shot. Like, you know, he, how? He just how? clocked in. He just clocked in and works, yeah, it, 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 overnight at Walmart in the grocery section, you know. It, yeah, you just, you know, you think of other jobs, you know, that you would be more concerned about somebody getting shot than, than that. So it's just uh, kind of hard to process. Now, doctors were able to tell the family that Michael was up, alert, and talking, and that he was being treated for the gunshot wounds. It's expected to make a full recovery. Reporting in Norfolk, I'm Danielle Seda, News 3.